spot right here. It looks pretty good. I was going to string my tarp up between these two trees, have something to sit on. But those two trees look dead to me, and it is really windy today, so I'm not staying here. I'll find somewhere else. Better. Get some good canopy cover. Some hemlock trees. Oh. Make a little shelter in here. Make a hot drink. Alright, this is gonna be home for a little while. I'm gonna try, try to do with my five minute shelter. I'm going to see seat. I'm going to put my bag on that so everything doesn't get soaked, I hope. I have a tarp and some stakes. And I've got a ridge line that I made this weekend. Let's see if we can do this quickly. It's coming down. I'm going to move my stuff under this big hemlock tree here. It's a little bit drier. And I'm going to string my tarp up between that tree and that tree. I think that's my plan anyway. That's my ridge line up. Let's park out here. Spikes everywhere. And in here I have an SOL blanket. I have four tent stakes. I have some extra cordage. And I have my tarp, which I've already tied.
go. I don't know what the time is like on it. I've got my tarp up. I'll move this stuff back over under here. Alright, there we go. Ground sheet in here I'm going to pull out and then we're going right. to make some. There we go. Lunch. I got my ridge line on here. I got a fixed eye braided in at one end. At the other end, I put on a carabiner, wrapped it on the tree a few times. I am using the fanciest knots that I know today <laughs> because it's cold and it's wet and I am not good at my taut line hitch yet. I've set up my tarp under this tree, it's not really giving me protection. When the wind goes horizontal this way, I get the rain. When the wind goes horizontal this way, we're pretty good. I've been snacking the whole time I've been out. It's been, I don't know, three hours maybe so far. I'm a little bit chilled though, so I'm going to make some coffee. A little bit of coffee. I'm get back on the trail. I'm going to keep moving. I'll be in a couple hours. Dinner, all that mom stuff. There it goes. Nice thing about having a muddy hill is that you can make yourself a nice little flat spot a little bit easier. There we go. Got that water. Right under here. I need to back up a little bit under here, maybe put the top down a little bit more, but just when the wind comes it shoots a bunch of rain on top of me. I'm on a down slope, which isn't the best spot. There's not any good flat spots up here, but I just wanted to practice getting my shelter up in five minutes. This is only the second time I've used this okay, pathfinder kit, that. but I'm really, really liking it. I want something bigger than my French canteen cup, particularly for the winter. I want to be able to carry more water, boil more water, melt more snow store more warm water after it's done so happy with that the only thing I'm not happy with is my lid the silicone gasket in my lid is uh, not seated properly and so my bottle leaks I fix it with a piece of clear plastic for now and I'm going to contact Pathfinder school and see what they can do for me and if they're not going to fix me up then I will just return it to the store and oh, right. today I'm going to be fancy dancing got my little pouch here I got some hot chocolate I got some Espresso, Megalodora Gold Espresso. We got some sugar, milk. This is cinnamon and a cinnamon stick. Sorry, not cinnamon. Cayenne. <laughs> Cayenne in here. Cinnamon in here. I'm gonna make myself a nice cowboy coffee. A little bit of extra heat. A little bit of sweet. A little bit of cream. And then we'll hit the trail again. As soon as that water. It's nice and hot. Alright, lesson for next time. Well, I do have it here and I could do it, but I'm gonna stand long enough. I'm gonna pull this out. Pull this out. A little cordage. Put those extra stakes in there so when it blows back, it doesn't matter. Fuel. Give me some more room. It just came up to a little boil, which is fine because I don't want it too hot. I'm gonna cowboy coffee today. Everybody makes it differently. I'm gonna do it this way. Put it in there. Rainwater to it. <laughs> Stir it up. And I'm just going to let it sit. And I'm add in sugar and the cream. Have a nice hot brew. I'm told that I don't want my water to melt, so let's give this a try. I've only done this a few That's times before. It's an experiment. I put a little bit of cayenne there already, too. Alright, let's spread it off 
the sides. Apparently it helps it settle the last of the grounds. You can drop cold water in there too, but that's not so hot anymore. Grounds in there, but that's all right. I just put a nice hot cup of gel all oh, through green. Ooh, there we go. Watch it in there. Excellent. Clean. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you're having a great one. All right, there we go. All packed up again. That muddy ground sheet and my Z seat on there. Tarps in there in a plastic bag along with the ridge line. These leaves kind of back where they were. And it's like we were never here. Set my little scuff mark here. There we go. The forest right back to the squirrels and the bunnies. Ugh. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you're having an awesome day. Take care, my friends. I'm the hike home. five hours and learned a lot of things. I reminded myself that I suck at knots and I need to practice them. But I tested out my new Anorak jacket. It's not completely waterproof, but it's kept me sufficiently dry. I've got uh, my layering system underneath. It's worked really, really well. Nice and dry. I didn't get too sweaty. I've got lots of zippers that I can pull down and air out as I was walking. The only thing I'm disappointed in is these pants. My knees are soaked. That's gone all the way through. I'm wearing fleece long johns underneath and my knees are soaked. They're not making me too cold. My feet are cold, but I always have extra socks in my pack. I could change those out if I needed to. These pants I usually use in the winter time on a dry day. Snow day, yeah, but on a dry day. They keep me warm. They're fleece lined on the inside. They're kind of water repellent on the outside, but not enough for bushwhacking. So I'm going to have to try another pair of rain pants. I got a couple extra pairs that work great. My snowboarding pants are fantastic. They're just, they're a little cumbersome because they're winter wear. And I've got another pair of rain pants that I tested out last week in the backyard that work fantastic actually. So next time we get a rainy day, I'll try those again. Happy with that tarp. I think I want a bigger one. That tarp is a 5x7. I think maybe a 10x9, 10x8, whatever the next biggest size is. Give me a little more coverage particularly once I've worked on those knots. Oh, I forgot one of the day, things guys. that I was reminded of today that I always forget. If you're gonna wear a hoodie as an underlayer, don't let the hood be outside of your clothes when it's raining and damp outside because it'll get wet and then it wicks all the way in and you end up getting a chill. Particularly if you're a girl wearing a bra. Oh, cold. home over there. I made it. Five hours outside in the rain playing all by myself. And it was awesome. I know it sounds a little bit crazy, but if you're dressed for the weather, it really is a lot of fun. It's quite peaceful out here. Heard lots of cars, lots of sirens. Didn't see another soul. Nobody asking me for help. Nobody, Jackie, Jackie, mommy, mommy. Guys, I came home today. I hung my new tarp up to dry, and as I did that, I also added on a whole bunch more tie outs. 
So I've got tie-outs now on all the points. Uh, four on the top, four on the bottom, two on the sides, and I'll be able to make this much more secure the next time I do this five-minute shelter. i still got some ends to burn. I'm going to fix those up now that it's all dried out. Most of them are all cleaned up. Get this packed up back in the pack and we'll try again. Guys, that was a pretty pathetic attempt at a shelter. It needed a lot more tie-outs, a lot more tying down, a lot more work, and I need to work on my knots. I put my tarp back in here. It's nice and dry now. All the tie-outs are on there. I've melted off all the ends. The SOL heat sheets is in there. The tent stakes are in there. I'd like to get a bigger tarp than this, 5x7, but for now, that's what I got. That's what I'm working with. So I put it back in my pack. You can see my ridge line's down in there. Underneath that, there's a dry bag full of uh, dry warm clothes. There's a hygiene and first aid kit down in there. I got my Pathfinder canteen kit in there. That is my cat can stove and extra fuel with the fire gel. Fire dragon gels. I've got a mountain house meal in there. A bit of a wool blanket in there. My thermal Z seed is in there. The bulk of my kit over in here. Bandana, washcloth, work gloves. Got our extra cups in there. There's a carving kit in there. My Moore Companion HD is in there. And my silky... Sorry, Jonas's Silky Gone Boy saw is in there. And then in the front over here, an admin pouch. We've got some Kleenex, some Purell, duct tape, compass, notepad, and pen. And here there is a repair kit. There's a flashlight. And there's a couple of Bic lighters. We have a CPR mask in there. And then we have hot drinks and snacks in there as well. And that's my little mini day hike kit. That's what I take most of the time when I go out with the kids. It's lighter and smaller. Down in here we got Abby's day hike kit, we got my big day hike kit, we got an extra hammock, we got a couple chairs. My shirt from yesterday is still drying there. That's my hoodie that I had as my underlay. My hood got a little bit wet and damp and so the whole thing got a little bit damp. But it's merino wool so it still kept me warm. And that's it. I can't wait to go on another adventure. I'm going to show you two more things I keep in this pouch that I'm going to test out separately. SOL Survival Poncho. Let's replace these disposable ponchos that I usually keep in there. So one SOL Survival Poncho, and then I've got this candle in a can, and together, hopefully they're going to give me a Palmer Firmus uh, solution to keep nice and warm and dry in a storm. So those are the other two pieces that go in there. I'm going to try those separately on a rainy day. I got the theory. I want to make sure that it works in practice. And that's it. Thanks for joining me.